Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So I am finally back at work. It feels like it's been a bit because after I got back from Orlando, you guys, I got sick with some kind of like upper respiratory cold or something like that. It was awful. It was so awful. I was sick for forever. I actually planned on flying high time last month, but then because I was sick, I couldn't pick up. Obviously I didn't want to get anybody else sick, but also if you fly when you're sick, you can bust your eardrums out. Like, especially when you have sinuses and stuff, it's very, very dangerous to do that. So I haven't been working in a bit, but today we're actually going to, to good old faithful. We're going to visit our old friend of London. And I'm actually very, very excited because Matt is also working London. So we're not going to be working the same flight. He's actually working the one that's like before mine, but I had to come to the airport a little bit early because my passport is coming up on its expiration. As a flight attendant, you can actually have your passport expedited because we need it for work so if you have like an upcoming international trip that you need it for you can ask to get like special approval to get it expedited so I'm here so I can go over to um, the crew ops and see if they can do that for me so I can get it taken care of but anyways um, now that we're here I guess let's go ahead and get our stuff out go get that taken care of and then it'll be a little bit before I can actually sign in because we're here so early but maybe we'll like wave through the glass as like Matt's plane takes off <laughs> A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Alright, hello friends. We have made it into our room. I've already changed out of my uniform into my clothes. Do y'all like this shirt? The mirror's a little funky because like the bed goes over it, but I love this shirt. I got like a big size because I wanted it kind of baggy, but as soon as I got it, because I got it on, on Amazon, if anybody else vibes with me, I'll, I'll link it for you, but I got it on Amazon and then I wore it and Chip, Chip, Chip told me it's like, looks like I'm in jail, like in jail. It looks like a prison outfit. And I was like, sir I don't feel like it's giving jail like I could maybe see like like a, a burglar like you know when they used to have like the burglar you have like the little ski mask or the hat or something I could see that but like jail do I look like a little jailbird I actually ran out of makeup wipes because I don't normally do this for London because they're so strict with the liquid rules but this time I found a way to bring my micellar water and these instead of my makeup wipes because I didn't have any extras but also as soon as I get to my hotel room I like to kind of get like everything set up like put my watch on the charger I've got my flight attendant tablet that has to go on the charger I need to actually charge up my phone right now so to do that I've got a secret weapon in here I've got these bad boys so these are my universal travel adapters, which I love. I do not go on international travel without these. And I've always said that I personally bring two of them. I found it just works better for me, especially if I have like stuff I need to use in the bathroom, but also in like the, the bedroom setting. So it's just nice to do that. But also I have so many electronics that I have to charge. I have my flight attendant tablet, which is required that flight attendants charge that. And it has to be at 90% before your first flight of the day. So very, very important. That's one of the fines that goes personally to the to the flight attendant. So if you mess that one up, you're going to be paying the fine and it's a big old hefty fine. So it's a very, very important. You have to have a watch because this is a required item for a flight attendant. I have my camera batteries I have to charge. I have my phone I have to charge. Sometimes I'll have like my iWalk, my portable charger I have to charge. So I have like a ton of stuff that I need to charge. So these are a must for me. They're very, very essential for all of my needs. And I also want to thank Tesson for sponsoring today's video. So I have two different ones from them so I have this one which is a 35 watt and then I got the big boy over here which is a 65 watt they also have a hundred watt option as well and Tesson recently released their 15 watt travel adapter as well so you can choose the device for you based on how quickly you need to charge multiple devices and Tesson charges faster than other travel adapters so with the hundred watt travel adapter you can take a device with a completely dead battery and in less than 
than 30 minutes, have it fully charged, and with the 65 watt, this will be about 65%. And I love this one because it's all just like one big sturdy block, which I've used like universal adapters in the past that will have like multi parts. I think the first one I ever used, it was like kind of like this little puzzle piece. You had to like put it together yourself, and then I would end up losing different countries and <laughs> different pieces of it, which you cannot do as a flight attendant. You, you can't do that, especially when you're on reserve and you don't know what you may end up flying. So like on reserve, these also stay in my bag. They do not come out of my bag at all, but it's super, super easy to use. So as you'll see, like there's different countries right here. So you have the US and Australia, you have UK and EU. And the Tesson Travel Adapter has four different socket configurations covering more than 200 countries worldwide. And also the outlet can accept six different types of plugs. And then you can see their switches right here. So you'll literally just line it up and match it and it'll plug right in. Now, something to note is sometimes when you're in other countries, they have like switches like this that turn it on or off, which like in the United States, we're not usually used to this. And then this one's also like super easy to like get this all back in. All you have to do is push the little button and pull it back. So to pull it out, you'll just push the button, push it out then push the button, bring it back in. So it's super, super easy. And then at the bottom, you'll see you have your USBs as well as your USCs. And then over here, my 35 watt, again, I have my USBs as well as my USCs. And then over here, I have another USC as well. So also you can plug in a normal plug as well. So just from this one block, I've got my Apple Watch down there charging. I've got my tablet over here charging as well as my phone charging. So if you'd like to check out any of these travel adapters from Tesson or any other Tesson products, you can now head down below in my description box and click that link. Once again, thank you to Tesson for sponsoring this part of today's video. Also, you guys, I tried tried the under lash things for I would say the second time I've tried them before and it was an epic fail and I just did not like them because for me lash strips are so quick so easy I'm just like I've been doing them since I was in high school so they just come naturally to me and so doing the under the lash ones I just I don't know it was a lot of work for for what I gave them another try and this is day three but I did put like a half lash like a little corner lash on the ends just because I used this pack I think it's by Ardell if I remember correctly which the glue works great like they've really been holding up I try my best like not to mess with them I haven't had any fallout nothing like that but I did have to add like the little corner lashes because like they're they're too they're too natural for me they're a little they're a little too natural you almost kind of don't see them type of thing. I feel like you see them when you look down but not as much just on their own and like for me like I need the drama I need the like the pizzazz like the va va voom so like I added the little the little corner corner lash onto them but so far I actually actually really like them I heard that you can you can use like just normal lashes and try it out so I really actually might use some of my lashes from Cata Cosmetics and and see if it works just as good I can't play the song because of copyright reasons but the chokehold that this song has on me is criminal so after I finished getting ready, I met up with Matt and the first stop was to walk over to Joe and the Juice. I'm telling you guys, if y'all have never tried this, you have to try it. Get the tuna cotta sandwich with extra tuna, so good. And then we walked around to the museum district looking for a coffee spot and we found this place right here, which was so cool on the outside. The coffee was not very good, but the inside reminded me of the TWA Hotel in New York, if you know, you know. And then we finally went over to Borough Market. It was exactly what I expected. It's absolutely stunning inside, but packed. There are a ton of people, but it's still worth going. There's so many different vendors. There's lots of stuff to see, lots of different meats and cuts to choose from. There's tons of different cheese stalls, and a lot of them actually offer you like samples to try. There's lots of different fruits and stuff. If I could take these back over to the States, I 100% would come here way more often. But there's also lots of food stalls where you can actually buy food, including this famous strawberry one. So we waited in line and grabbed some chocolate covered strawberries before wandering around a bit and then finding out that there's a back of the market. So over here is like a famous sandwich shop and lots more food vendors. And then after that, we just kind of walked around the area, just like stumbling into stuff, which I actually
actually saw so many new things I've never seen before, like these ruins. And then we saw the Sky Garden Tower, and I've really been wanting to go to this building. I don't know if you can point it out from here. So we decided to walk all the way over across the bridge and go. Now, it does recommend that you get a reservation, but unfortunately, when we looked, the soonest reservation you could get was the 24th. So we were just going to try to walk in. But unfortunately, as soon as we got there, they were no longer taking walk-ins. So we decided instead to go back over towards the hotel and do Nando's for dinner, which I think Nando's is really good, but also a little overrated. But I did do the hot chicken before going back over to the hotel. Oh my goodness, what a day. We basically just like hit the ground running. Like right now, it's only 5.36 and I'm, I'm dead. I'm done. My feet hurt. We walked everywhere. We did a lot of like touristy stuff. I didn't realize Matt has never been to Borough Market before or that general area, which I bumped into a lot of stuff I had never seen before over there as well. So that was super cool, like getting to do that and just exploring and like just seeing a lot more of London, like a lot more new stuff of London. Like it's just a city you never get bored of. Like I still have like a long to-do list of things that I want to do whenever I'm here that I haven't gotten to do yet. And then after that, we went over to Marks and Spencer. But the thing is, is that I get back from this trip on Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday are my only two like off days, like off from flying because I have another trip on, on Saturday, I believe because like two days, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday. So I don't want to buy a bunch of groceries because I'm not really going to be home. So um, I only got two things, which were these two Greek yogurts. So they are the Marks and Spencer, like the Eat Well brand. And they each have like 25 grams of protein. But I need to stay up oh, just a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go to bed. But I will go ahead and call it a night for you guys. And I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Night. I slept so hard that not once, but twice in the middle of the night, I woke up in a full panic. Where am I? That's how hard I was sleeping, like how tired I was. Also, my my lashes, when I took, because I glued like the two corner pieces over my lashes, like with normal glue, when I took them off, it took the under lashes off. So now, <laughs> So now my lashes are gone. Back to back to the OGs. But also what you guys missed is um, last night I had talked to Chip for like an hour and a half. His birthday present had come in. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna, this is gonna chill. But his birthday present had finally come in the mail because it didn't make it in time for his birthday. He was all excited. It was, it was a good, it was a good gift. While I was on the phone with him, I was kind of thinking, I was like, dang, I didn't get food for the plane. Whole Foods opens at 8 a.m. and our sign in time is 9.30. So I think that's plenty of time to just like go to Whole Foods, get there as soon as they open, do a little grocery shopping, come back and still be ready. I also might want to do breakfast here. And um, just, just so we're clear, you and I, cause y'all keep seeing me in the shirt. This is not what I went around exploring town. Like, just so y'all know, this is what I was, this is what I was wearing. Cause you're probably like, Kat, why are you wearing that shirt for two days in a row? And that, that was not the case. I, I would like to clear the air. <laughs> I'd like to clear my name. <sighs> I still have like glue on my lashes. Cause I, when I yawn, I keep still getting like stuck. Like little, little baby doll lashes. You know, it's like. <laughs> oh, hi woozy girl. No personal space with a pit bull. Oh, mamas. All right, so here is my fit. Just got some wide leg pants, my platform Uggs, my prime, no, Zara jacket, Primark bag, and um, finally ready to go. So I guess let's rush downstairs, have a quick breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> um, a quick breakfast, and then uh, head over to Whole Foods. I put the striped shirt um, back on for old time's sake, you know, one time for the one time. <laughs> um, so we actually did it in good timing. Um, I'm officially back. Where's my water at? I'm thirsty. So we're gonna have an hour before we need to be downstairs, which I feel like is good because then I can finish packing everything up. I can pack all the new, oh, that thing is heavy. All the new goodies I'm about to show you. And then 
get dressed and get on out of here. But I love Whole Foods. I really do. I know you have to spend like your firstborn child to get anything, but they just, oh, every time it hits here, you know? I am a grocery store lollygagger. I don't know what it is, but like something about like when I'm in a grocery store that I really want to be in, I'm going to take my time. It's something about me. But I knew I was like, girl, I gave myself a time cap. I'm like, you got 30 minutes. That's all I'm allowing you to be in the store for. So towards the end, I got in a rush and I was looking for gluten-free crackers and I could not find any. So I just picked up these, which I feel like are going to be the next best thing. So they're sourdough. They say that they're fermented for 16 hours. I've been not very good, been, been very good. I think that's the wake up call. Honestly, it's ever since I went to Asia and I got off the ball, I haven't gotten back on the ball. It's been all right, it hasn't been crazy, it hasn't been great, but it's been all right. I, and I know I need to cut the gluten out again. I just haven't quite like yanked the rug out from underneath myself, even though like I know I actually need to and I know like eating gluten is not good for autoimmune situations but anywho I also picked up this coffee right here which I might drink this right now I also picked up two um yogurts so these are kefir no my battery is about to die okay okay hold on because I got something special to go along with those okay and we're back I feel like I just changed the camera battery too also I bought a new camera battery charger because my other one was having like electrical issues and it wasn't showing me like sometimes when some of the batteries would be fully charged and then I was like blowing through batteries so I bought a new one and then it's doing the exact same thing again so I don't know what's going on but anywho I ended up picking up these two yogurts so I got a vanilla and a strawberry and to go along with it I got some pomegranate seeds to put in there I thought that was gonna be so good lots of um, antioxidants in these and then also to go along with my crackers I got um, this salmon spread I was gonna do a salmon and a chicken because I love like their salmon um, their salmon spreads and their chicken salads it's so good but they didn't have the chicken salad out so I settled for two salmon salads which salmon is very very good um, for autoimmunes very very good in omega-3 fatty acids I don't know about all the the mayonnaise that's probably in there with it but we're gonna collectively ignore that and then to go along with it I got some of these Cornishins this is like my favorite combination like whenever I'm having like a little girl dinner I love to make myself like chicken salad tuna salad or something similar to this have it with crackers and then some of these and maybe like a fruit like a strawberries or something that is like my my girl dinner like a little bit of everything I love it and then also what I'm about to drink right now is I got a little little turmeric shot this was so embarrassing I was like grabbing this <laughs> I was grabbing one of these off the thing and then it just like the top part just like collapsed and then I had to pick stuff up off the floor and it was so embarrassing and then as I was picking stuff up and trying to put it back it was falling back off again so now um, I need to pack everything up make sure we're all good get dressed and then I guess we are gonna get on out of here y'all I forgot to tell you so you know how I said I was gonna have two days off and then have a trip well I was actually able to move that trip to like another week or so away and instead miss wonderfully ally actually has a long 30 hour milwaukee trip coming up so i'd have one day off and then go out again so we have a trip that mimics her trip and i'm trying to pick it up if it comes open um if not i might just jump on her trip i might just invade her layover so that might be our new <laughs> our new plan instead but anyways that's another layover in the book so i'm gonna get my stuff up i guess we're gonna head downstairs and head to the London Heathrow Airport. I was in the dark again.